Is it necessary? No. But is buying anything from Amazon necessary? No. <laughs> Everybody and welcome back to my channel as you can tell from the title we are filming an Amazon I don't necessarily want to say must-haves but just I'm about to show you a bunch of stuff you probably don't need but I'm gonna convince you that you need because Amazon has Amazon Prime that's literally the only reason why we keep giving Amazon our coin so so if you want to see the things that I got from Amazon that I feel like maybe you might want then just keep on watching so I'm gonna try to go in categories so I'm gonna start in the kitchen because that's usually where I spend all of my money on Amazon is on kitchen stuff um, I should have everything kind of broken down across the bottom so if you're looking for a certain area you can go there it's up to you oh, girl I just have so many things okay so I got a new water bottle let's talk about this I got this glass water bottle now I've shown you guys a water bottle very similar to this before except it was plastic and what I was finding was that it was getting very nasty that plastic mm -mm, mm -mm. so I was constantly rebuying it and I'm like man this sucks I found this glass one now if you are prone to dropping things this might not be the best for you, but I've dropped it like four times and I haven't had an issue. So this one still has the times on it of when to drink it. Sorry, mine's a little greasy looking because I've been rubbing all over it. But, and I just did my makeup and everything. So, um, like I said, it has the times. So you still have your time stamps, but this one also has the ounces and milliliters on the back of the bottle. So I think this is like a 32 ounce bottle, if I'm not mistaken. You know what, I'm gonna look thirsty. And I love that it has like the little wood top. Y'all know I'm a basic influencer. So love, 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 love. And this fits in my cup holder in my car. And that's the major key. 10 out of 10 on this product. Like I said, everything will be linked down below um, if you're interested in any of the products. It is my affiliate link. So if you are not interested in giving me any commission, you need to go search this stuff up, okay? Up next. We'll just keep it up with like cups and stuff. My coffee cups, y'all always ask me where your coffee cups from, where your coffee cups from, where your coffee cups from. This is my coffee cups. They're just these clear um, like soda can type of cups. I have the big ones. These come in two different sizes, but I am a coffee guzzler. I'm a drink guzzler because I also put like water in these when I'm just kind of chilling downstairs or like for guests. Um, and I feel like don't nobody want a little baby glass of water. What did Carisha say? And then you got these little ass water bottles. I don't play like that. Mm, at eight ounce? No ma'am. Hey, I believe this is 16 ounces, so it's double that. But seriously, no. I love these glasses. Um, I believe this is a set of four, if I'm not mistaken. Since I live alone, four is plenty for me. There should be no reason why I have four dirty glasses of these in my sink. But you know, I have been there and done that, so what can I say? So this is kind of in the realm of drinkware, except it's not, you wouldn't actually drink out of this. I mean, I guess you could, but this is technically considered an espresso shot glass. Um, I like, I don't, well, sometimes I do put espresso in here if I'm making like a latte, like by hand. Um, but usually what I do with this is I froth my creamers and milk and things like that for my coffee in here. So it's just a little shot glass. It has a pour spout so it doesn't, you know, spill or like y'all know, sometimes things will like drip down the side. It doesn't do any of that. So that's what I got these for. And they're just cute, okay? I get it. It's To me, this is practical, but like, is it necessary? No. But it's cute and I love it for when I do like content around my coffee or my morning drinks or even when I'm not doing content. It's just cute. Like I like things that I find to be cute. So yeah, and I believe this came in a set of four as well. So love these and they're super sturdy as well. I haven't broken one of these, but I also haven't dropped one. So and while we're on the topic of frothing and coffee, my frother, it's just a little handheld frother. I just push the button. And it spins out. Actually, that kind of didn't feel that great. Um, but it's just a frother. It's battery operated. You can switch out the nozzles. So when you're done frothing, you can put this in your washing machine or wash it by hand. You don't get this wet. Um, it was literally super cheap. I think like five, ten dollars, if that. Um, and it's really good if you like milk froth or like 
thicker cream on top of your coffees or your drinks or beverages. You can also use it for other things like you can use it for mixing up egg yolks, frothing other things. It's just nice to have one of these handheld mixers. You can also use this to mix protein, like if you do protein powder or collagen powder. This is also really good for like, so it's not all like um, powdery, like so you make sure it's very thoroughly mixed. So I also really, really, really like this. We're just gonna keep going. This is the last coffee-esque thing that I have to show you guys. But I got these coffee spoons. So I have like little gold teaspoons that I use for like my tea. But when I do my iced coffee, like in that tall glass, girl, them spoons look small for that. So I really like these. I was hoping they would have been matte black though. As you can see, they're kind of shiny. But it's okay. They're still really cute. But these are just coffee spoons for mixing and things like that. Again. It is practical, but is it necessary? No, but is buying anything from Amazon necessary? No. So I really got these because they're cute. We already know that. What's new? Okay, so now we're moving on to some other, uh, still kitchen things, but not really around drinkware and things like that. So um, this is, I love these. Okay, so these are my new carafts. I believe that's the official term or jugs, jars, girl, whatever you want to call it. I put like all my milk juice, coffee, things like that in these. Someone, one of you guys, one of my subscribers was like, girl, you should really look into getting these if you really want your, your refrigerator to look really cute. That way you can get rid of all those different cartons. And you know, I don't know why I didn't ever think to do that and I absolutely love them. They have the cork lid um, and they're just so cute. They look really nice and sleek in my refrigerator. And I don't know, again, this is an aesthetic purchase. Now, I did buy these on Amazon, but when they came, they had Ikea stickers. So I don't know how much Ikea sells them for. I didn't look because I had already bought them on Amazon. So I would do a little price check before buying on Amazon. But then again, if you buy from Ikea, you either gotta wait for it to ship or you have to go to Ikea. Whereas when you do it with Amazon, you can do Amazon Prime and then it'll be at your door tomorrow. Food for thought. So I got like six of these though. Like I literally ran up a bag on these because I'm like, I just never know when I'll have different drinks in the refrigerator and I'll need something to put it in. And then because it is glass, um, I put my expiration dates on the bottom in Sharpie marker um, because it you can wash Sharpie off of glass with soap and water in your sink. So yeah, absolutely love these. And again, practical, yes, but it's really just because it's cute. We're just gonna be honest. Moving on, I have some, like, essentially it's Tupperware, but it's cute Tupperware, okay? So clearly I'm into like the tan, and glass thing in my kitchen. Everything in my kitchen is either like this cork wood or it's acrylic clear or it's black. So of course I had to get, sorry that was so loud. I had to get these little like, I don't, leftover containers, I don't know what you would call this. I actually have no idea what you would call these but I got these because my nail tech actually had made me some food and when she gave it to me, it was in these containers. And I was like, um, hello, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Where did you get these? And she was like, from Amazon. And I said, great, lovely, going on Amazon right now. And I bought them. Have I used them yet? No, because I typically don't have leftovers. But when I do, but when I do, I'm locked, loaded, and ready, baby. Or if I ever decide to start meal prepping again, which probably won't ever happen. But if I do, if I do, I'm ready. But I just think these are nice. Or if people come over and they want to take some food home, I have a cute little container. Here you go, take, take some food. Like, I don't know, I just, it's giving the vibes. So I only have two more kitchen items left. And this next one is actually extremely practical. It has nothing to do with aesthetics at all. And it is this cutting board. Now I know you're probably like, oh yeah, what is so special about a cutting board? Like cutting boards are cutting boards. No baby, this is a very, practical and literally 10 out of 10 would recommend to everybody type of cutting board. So this isn't your ordinary cutting board. Number one, this cutting board is so smart. So this side is like a normal, regular, I don't know what kind of material this is, but it's a regular cutting board, right? But it has a groove. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, all the way around. So on this side, you're meant to cut up your vegetables, your fruits, anything that's not meat, you cut it on this side. And then if it drips juice, it doesn't drip all off your cutting board or get on your counter because it will fall into this little groove. It's like a moat around the castle. Genius, okay, great. But that's not the only part. You flip it over and it's like, um, it's steel on this side. And I know you're probably like, who cares? 
it's so there's no contamination of nasty meat juices on your cutting board because when you cut on this side I don't know if you guys can see you get there's like cuts in it so meat juice will seep in there and it becomes just nasty all the bacteria just be living and growing and doing what it do but when you have the steel there's no you're not cutting through the steel there's no grooves there's nothing in there so you do your meat on this side and then you can sanitize bleach wash but you never have to worry about the meat juice seeping into your cutting board genius hello like listen I have some real cute matte black cutting boards that I just think are very very cute which I probably use for like content purposes but like when it really comes to practicality I ain't trying to get sick okay I am not trying to get sick so I just thought that this was super duper practical and it made a lot of sense and it really does make like my cooking easier and less messy so like instead of having to wash and clean my cutting board in between cutting meat like if I put raw meat on my cutting board I don't have to worry about that because it's all on separate sides so I can just do everything that I need to do and don't have to worry about that so this was actually just a strictly practical purchase there is nothing really cute about it it's just a freaking cutting board but I would say that I find that it's very worth it also it has a silicone border around it so when it's on your counter it doesn't move no matter how I hate when people text me and I'm filming. They don't know that I'm filming, so it's really not their fault. Kind of my fault. But anyways, like I was saying, when you push it, there is no movement. It stick. It stays like stuck. It's just, I love it. And y'all know, I be liking to cook. I can't cook, but like, I like to do it. Okay, and then the last thing that I have for the kitchen is a plate set. Um, and I'm gonna give you some tea though. This plate set is so cute to me. I love the shape. It is so like aesthetic -y. These are what the little plates look like. It's just a perfect square and they're a little deeper than like, they, there's depth to it. So it has, you know, it's just really cute. So I have a big plate, a little plate, and I have a bowl and the bowl is square too. I just think that these are just so cute. However, um, I'm gonna give you the tea, okay? These are stone, so the bottoms of them, um, I have marble counters, like real marble counters, so uh, I definitely scratched up my counter a couple of times. I do not put these on my kitchen counter um, bare because, yeah. And I know you're probably like, then why get it at all? I am very um, driven by pretty things. I will do some crazy things. So I just want to put that out there. I wanted to show it to you guys because I get asked about these plates all of the time. So I wanted to show you. But I do want to warn you, if you have like um, natural stone countertops, be careful. Some of the reviews said that theirs were smooth and they didn't have that issue. And some of the reviews said that they were having that issue. So I don't know, you know, what that's about. But yeah, I also want to note that they're not completely level. So I don't know if these are handmade or what but they're not like perfectly level either. I personally don't care, but people were mentioning it in the reviews, so I figured I would mention it to you guys just in case that's something that you might care about too, so yeah. Alrighty y'all, so that was everything for in the kitchen. So now I have a few home decor pieces, literally only three, um, but I figured I would share them because y'all be asking, so I'm gonna show you. So I'm about to be so basic. Oh, I'm so over this. Everyone complains about this. Y'all, people just be hating the things that I like. And I'm like, who's more for me? Um, so no, I'm definitely your basic YouTube influencer, um, home decor, who doesn't know how to decorate their home. And it's kind of tacky. So they just fill it with designer coffee table books to think to make it think that they think it's Lux, and I am that person. So I bought the Tom Ford number two coffee table book. I actually bought this because of, who posted this? God darn. Someone posted this that it was actually on sale on Amazon and that's why I purchased it because I have the original Tom Ford coffee table book but I wanted to get the white one as well even though honestly I don't really have a lot of white in my house. I have a lot of cream but not a lot of white. But I was like, mm, I'm gonna get it anyways. So I do have this. It is very heavy, very thick, very nice. I personally love these as coffee table books. I know some people, there's a lot of critique around what the girlies are liking nowadays. But look, you do you, baby. If you like it, get it. If you don't, don't. Ooh, it's really not that serious, okay? 
but I really like it. It fits for the most part within my home and the things that I have going on. And from time to time, I like to open it up and really look in here. I'm not like, I'm definitely into fashion as in I like to dress nice, but I'm not extremely educated. It's not something that I have a background in or anything like that. Um, I wouldn't really consider myself to be very versed extremely as far as like, the fashion world goes um so it's really interesting to kind of peek in here from time to time so i did get this on amazon and i figured i would share it with you guys the next home decor it's actually not it's actually really practical but it is a piece of home decor it is a match cloach so i have tons of these all around my house these are my little mini ones so it looks like this um hello camera please so it's just a glass jar with matches in it with a little cork top and it has a strike pad on the bottom. So I use these to light my candles. There is nothing spectacular about it. It's just really kind of a little fancier. It makes me feel better about lighting my candles. What can I say? Look, we have to do the little things for ourselves and having a match cloach is the little thing for me. Okay, call it what you want, but I like it. It made me happy. So I have a bunch of different sizes from Amazon of these. I also like that the matches have black tops because, um, you know, my house. It's black so literally you just open it you pull your match out and there is just a strike pad that you just strike your match and that's it and you can light your candles with them they also have candle matches as well so taller ones that have long matches for specifically for candles um, and they also ship with a uh, with more matches so it does come with more matches and it also comes with more strike pads in case you use this one up but I've had this for a while but I also have a bunch of these, so I'm never really grabbing out of the same one and lighting off the same one constantly. So, but it's working good for me. So I really, really like these. Um, and I just think that there's something to just kind of spice up your decor, but it's still practical. You're actually gonna use it, but it's kind of cool. And when people see it, they think it's really cool. Like whenever I light my candles with these, people are like, wow, like I know it's just a match, but that was really cute. Like it's, it's cute and cool. So just something to kind of spice it up. Now the last home decor piece is this giant pillow. Um, I only have one to show you because there was I, it's, they're all the same, so I didn't feel like I needed to bring every single pillow. So it's actually a pillow cover and a pillow insert. So um, it's huge. These I actually have on my bed. The lighting is so bright, but I don't know if you guys can tell the texture of this is like a soft velvet and it's kind of piped. So it's like striped. It's so subtle, yet looks so luxe and so nice, and they are so soft. They're obviously decorative, so you wouldn't really like lay on it, but if you do just happen to like sit on your bed and you don't feel like moving your pillows, it's not uncomfortable by any means. Now, I did get really, really big pillows because I have a really, really big bed, and a lot of you guys were giving me some advice on my decor in my bedroom that my the decorative pillows that I had before were too small for my bed because I do have a king size bed. So these pillows um, that I have here are 26 by 26. However, the pillow cover is a 24 by 24. I sized it down so that it's fluffier and fuller because if you do the same size, sometimes it can have that slouchy look. So um, I didn't really want it to be slouchy. I wanted it to be really full so I could chop it and it would sit up really nice even though uh, my, my bed is a mess right now. But you know, for those days where I'm like, wow, I really need to make myself feel better, this on my bed makes me feel better. Call it what you want. I always say that, call it what you want, it makes me feel better. But no, seriously, so this is a down fill pillow insert, meaning it is feather, not cotton. So if you are someone who likes to do the choppable thing with your pillows, you're gonna want down fill, not down alternative. Although the link that goes to these pillows you can get both so it's totally up to you whatever floats your boat okay so the next area we're gonna go into kind of like fashion beauty hygiene i don't really have many items so i kind of just grouped it all together because it was easiest this way so i'm going to be starting with my hair rollers okay so you guys know i've been doing the blowout this is how i get this look that you see here okay um i these are the largest jumbo rollers that i could find i'm talking in store online these from Amazon are the biggest ones that I could find because I don't like my hair to look curled. As you guys can see, like my hair definitely has a curl to it, but would you call this hair curled? No, it's got a blowout look to it and I get this by using these um, because they lengthen out the curl but still give the hair body so it has this just 
effortlessly look. And I need these big ones for that because too small of rollers, you start getting curls. And I don't want curls. I want I want blowout look. Okay, so these big old ones, um, they come in a six pack, which is enough for me to do my whole head. I do use like one size smaller just for my front pieces because I do like for them to have a little more than the rest of my hair. But for the most part, I just use these. Um, and I like them because they were black. I could not find black rollers anywhere. These are Velcro rollers. I know some people love Velcro rollers and some people hate them. I personally love them. Do as you choose. Um, some people feel like they make your hair frizzy. I feel like it gives it body. I've, I, I don't want my hair to be too silky and flat. I like to have some texture and movement to my hair and just, you know. So I absolutely love these rollers and they were pretty inexpensive. Now I don't, sorry. Now I don't know if the black is still in stock. When I ordered these, I posted them on my Instagram and I have not seen black since. They've been, they have every other color in this size, but I have not seen black. So you can still get the look as in with your hair, but I don't know if they will be as aesthetically driven as you may want. So, sorry, I've been told Instagram before, y'all, my bad, my bad, my bad. But that's why you should be following me on Instagram, just saying. Up next is kind of in the fashion area, titty tape. So, we have to talk about it because you guys know I told you I really, really, really liked the Skims titty tape. I also use another brand called Perky Pear, which isn't tape, but it is tape, but it's not like this kind of a tape. It is an actual like, titty lifter so it's already shaped like your boob i really enjoy both of those products however number one skims is always sold out and it's expensive but the benefit to the skims tape is that it comes in different skin tones like different colors on amazon i could not find different colors they're all in this like peachy nude so yeah and then the perky pear ones they're expensive as well, and they're just a single time wear, and they're pretty pricey, but they work phenomenal. But if you don't want to break the bank, but you still want to get the look, you can just take on Amazon, girl. It is the same as the Skims tape. It's also just a sports tape. I don't know if people are talking about this. It's literally just sports tape. What's so great about it is it's stretchy. So when you take this off of the paper, it's stretchy, but it's so sticky. You want to be really careful taking this off too, because girl, you will rip your titty meat off, okay? And you don't want to do that. But I love this stuff. I buy it in bulk on Amazon at this point, because I never know when Skims is coming back into stock. Like I said, the only benefit that I find Skims has over this is just the colors. So if you're someone who is very... Um, really wanting it to be as close to your skin tone as possible, maybe I just couldn't find it, but... I didn't think that they had other colors. They might have had black, like literally black and nude, like this pinky nude, but no like shades of brown in between. So, but I still really, really like it. It's really good quality and it's pretty inexpensive. So yeah. The next fashion-y type of thing I have is this bag insert. So listen to me. People be charging an arm and a leg for bag inserts. The reason I have a bag insert is only for my larger tote bags because number one, some of them, their structure is pretty floppy. And don't nobody want to walk around with no saggy, floppy old bag, unless that's the style you're going for, which is fine. But for me, I didn't want that. I also felt like my things were just thrown in my tote bag, just thrown in there, no organization. I'm digging, digging, digging. I just didn't like that. So I found this on Amazon because I was looking into buying some other inserts from a very, I can't remember the name of the brand, but everyone on YouTube talks about it. They're supposed to be like the best velvet bag insert brand and don't get me wrong i'm pretty sure they probably are really good quality but i just couldn't bring myself to spend a hundred dollars for a bag insert when i seen this on amazon for 18 dollars, i said don't mind if i do i absolutely love it it has okay so mine's a little dirty because i be using it girl i really be using it but um it's got three pockets along this side two pockets on the outside part here um a large insert a zippable insert Three pockets here, three pocket or two pockets here, and then another large pocket here. So it's tons of pockets. Keep in mind this middle section here is velcroed in. Oh, nine months over the page. So if you don't want this zipper part and you just want the large opening with the pockets on the side, you can do that. I personally like the separator. It works for me. I like, like I said, I don't like my stuff to just be up in here like that. So I find that this was so practical. I use this inside of my um, Fendi Sun Sunshine Shopper bag. It fits in there perfectly. It also fits perfect in my um, Chanel tote bag. I'm not sure the official name of that tote. Sorry, guys. But it fits perfectly in there as well. It is a little smaller than the Chanel tote. 
but not bad. And then I also put it in my YSL um, Reeve Rouge tote bag, but it is quite small for that bag because that one is a little more narrow than this and longer. But I do believe they have tons of other sizes. So even if you don't want it for a big bag like me, even if you have a smaller bag that you just feel like needs a, a bag organizer or an insert, they have that too. So just look at the dimensions. They give all the measurements and it was very accurate. And yeah, I feel like it's pretty sturdy. I don't really have any issues with it. So 10 out of 10 would recommend it. And like I said, this was like $20. Way cheaper than all the other bag inserts that I could find, not on Amazon. And it came in a day. So you know I love that. Alrighty, so the last product that is in the hygiene, beauty, whatever category is this hand sanitizer. Again, I'm driven by aesthetics. Why would I walk around with a Purell when I can walk around with these? Okay, hello? Oh, it's not, that That was so anticlimactic because it didn't show it to you guys. But no, seriously, there's literally nothing wrong with walking around with normal hand sanitizer. It's actually probably smarter and, but like I said, driven by aesthetics. So I absolutely think that this is just the most adorable thing ever. I'm pretty sure Kyra is who showed me these. I was with her one night and she pulled this out and I was like, oh, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. So of course I had to go order it. I bought it in a three pack and they actually make refills for these. So you don't have to continuously keep buying the pack. You can pull the top off as you can see here and you can fill in more hand sanitizer by lifting up this little pouch and squeezing it in. So you can buy the hand sanitizer in bulk essentially. Um, so I absolutely love this. You just spray it in your hand and it smells so good. It's black, y'all know me. It looks so good in my purse. It's sleek too. It doesn't take up a lot of space at all. That was another big motivating factor for me getting this because Sephora does sell a sprayable hand sanitizer very similar to this, except it's a little thicker, it's, a, it's just bigger. So I like that this is smaller and more compact because y'all know I'm a mini bag girl. So I absolutely love this. I have one in my car, one in all, girl, there's probably tons all over the place in my bags. It's a problem. Sorry y'all, my camera cut off. I'm clearly talking way too much, but what can I say? Alrighty, so that was all of that. Now the last things are just kind of like little random gadgets, gizmos, that kind of a thing. So I don't know which one to show y'all first. I have a lot of just little like random gizmos. Is that the word? Gadgets, gizmos? Okay, so first thing is the um, is my little portable iPhone charger. I love these for, especially when I'm traveling. Now, they're great if you have long days, like if you go to work for a long period of time and you're not able to um, leave your phone charging on a charger, these are awesome. You can charge them at home, same way you charge your phone, and you just plug it into your phone at the base like this. And it charges, it's charging my phone right now. I would say I can get a good 30 to 40% off of this. Um, it definitely is not gonna give my phone a full blown charge, or at least not that I've noticed. I would say a good 30 to 40% charge before it dies. Um, I have two of them, I have a white one as well. I bought it in a two pack, but I just like the way that they look. They're not too, too bulky. You don't really notice it when it's on your phone and they're easy to throw in your bags or whatever. So I think that these are awesome. Like I said, I typically use it when I'm traveling for the most part. I don't find myself really using them much when I'm home, but if I was like in school or had to leave somewhere to go to work, I think that this would be great so I don't have to like leave my phone on a charger all day, so. Yeah. Up next is for my peeps with IMAX. So this is an adapter. If you don't know, Apple loves to do this thing where they just make all new plugs. They said, we don't do USB. We don't do SD. We don't do HDMI. We do Apple and Apple only. So you literally have to buy all these other things just so that you can actually use your computer. So for me being a YouTuber, I have to put my SD card in my camp, I mean in my computer. I have to put my external hard drives and all kinds of different things. So this is a adapter, that's what I call it. But I really like this particular one because it is made specifically for the new model IMAX. So as you can see, it's the color. I have the yellow or gold IMAX. They come in different colors and this comes with a faceplate for all the colors when you order it. So whichever color you have, you'll have it. It's just a sticker that you lay over the front. And the way that this goes on is you have this little screw here that you put on the base of the screen and you screw it. That way you can plug everything right in front of you and you're not reaching around behind the computer. And I haven't had any issues with it since using it. So yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend it. It has your SD, micro SD, two, um, 
USB and then one whatever Apple calls their little plug. I don't know what it, what it is. Not the one for the phone, but the one for computers and iPads and child. I don't know what that's called, but y'all know USB-C. Whatever Apple, Apple just be coming up with stuff, girl. It is so annoying. But anyways, so yeah, and it also has an HDMI in the back. So it pretty much has everything you could possibly need. So if you are someone with an iMac that does a lot of things, this adapter is a must have. And again, aesthetics, it's cute. Okay, you guys, so the last thing that I have to show you is a car diffuser. You heard me. It is an itty bitty mini diffuser. I mean, you don't have to put it in your car. You could, you can, you put it anywhere, I suppose. I mean, yeah, but it is very small. Like this fits in my cup holder. That's why I keep this. I just feel like it make my car smell so good because y'all know I be leaving my coffee in there for days. Maybe a bag of fast food in there. Y'all know my car is junky. I'm a junky car girl. Talk about me. It is what it is. At least I'm honest. So this keeps my car smelling fresh and keeps my air breathable in my car. So you literally just do it the same way you would do any diffuser. It takes just a little bit of water. You put um, a couple of, I would only do like one or two drops or you're gonna die in your car. But I would do like one drop of some oil, essential oil, whatever you prefer. And then it does have a plug that goes through the back like this with the USB that you would plug in your car. And you just press the power button and it's a diffuser in the car. I think that it is just, I don't know. I seen um, Marie J post this on Instagram and I said, yeah, yeah. Don't ask me why I need a diffuser. I need to diffuse the air in my car, apparently. What's the problem? So yeah, completely unnecessary, completely unneeded, but yet needed and necessary. And I like that it's black. It also comes in white as well if you have a lighter interior in your car, so. Yeah. Oh my god, wait, you guys, I almost forgot. I literally filmed the, the outro and everything. I'm gonna edit it so you haven't seen the outro yet, but I almost forgot. My freaking phone case. I get questions about my phone case all of the time. It's from Amazon. So I love a good silicone case. Um, I also love a good neutral case. I hate when my case be clashing with my outfit. I hate when I be like this in my phone be making my outfit look crazy. So that's just a personal preference of mine, but I love a good silicone case. I love a good neutral case. And again, this is from Amazon. I do have the iPhone 13 Pro Max, um, but I'm pretty sure they make it in other sizes as well. I have several different um, silicone cases, very similar that I've ordered. So they're all linked on my Amazon. Some have the camera border, some don't. So just kind of look at the different ones and see which ones you prefer. Um, this is currently my favorite. The only issue is my last ones never got dirty. This one kind of gets dirty. So that's a little annoying. So, mm, but I forgot to mention it and I had to mention it because y'all always ask me about my phone case. So that was the last thing. All right, you guys, so those are all the products and that I wanted to show you guys from Amazon, my little mini must haves or certain things you need, certain things you don't, probably don't, but we're gonna convince ourselves we do. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have some recommendations on some things from Amazon, please let me know because I'm an Amazon whore. Like I, it's the prime for me. So if you have anything that you think I would like that's on Amazon, please send it my way. I will check it out. I'll have the links to everything that I showed you guys down below or I'll just have my one large store link to keep things simple and everything will be categorized and you can find it that way. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel and I will see you guys in Thursday's video so 